All right, here we go. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Papa Bear's Kitchen. I hope everybody's safe. Everybody's doing fine, doing well, taking care of yourself, taking care of each other. What I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to make uh, either, well, it can be both. I'm going to make um, biscuits. Um, I guess the, the, the official name is Chicken a la King. And what it is is like a, a chicken mixture uh, poured over biscuits. And um, I found this uh, recipe online. It's amazing, very nice. And it's so simple to do. I've got uh, self rising flour here. And I'm going to put two cups. There's two ingredients. It's just amazing. And they turn out so well. I made some uh, the other day. And the family went nuts for them. They went crazy. They're so good. Two cups of the self-rising flour. And put a little on the, my little mixing board here. And what I've got here is heavy cream. And I guess uh, you call it uh, whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. So it's two cups of flour. The self-rising flour. And two cups of this stuff. One and two. Now, like I said before on some of my videos, I'm not a very good baker. I like to bake though and try different things. So I was looking for a, a biscuit recipe, and this is what I found. And it's just amazing how easy it is, how well it turns out, how well it turns out, and uh, it's fairly quick. So we mix these up. The two ingredients. That's it. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to put anything to it. Anything else in it. <clears throat> and once I get this, uh, the biscuits cut and put in the pan, put in the oven, I'm going to make the filling for the uh, chicken a la king. And it's my own recipe. And it changes. It varies depending on what I have on hand. But uh, I haven't made this for quite some time. So, um, it usually turns out awesome. But when we get to that, we'll get to that. Okay. This is fairly mixed up. And here comes the fun part where I get to get my grubby little hands on there on the dough. Okay. Put a little flour on the board here. I was going to make this last night, but uh, we had uh, Chinese carry out. Everybody was too full to eat, so afterwards so I didn't make this so we're having this for lunch dinner early er, late lunch or early dinner and uh, probably have something later on tonight maybe a snack I'm thinking about making a bowl of guacamole and that's always a favorite all right now you gotta just need this a little bit This is fun. Um, as I mentioned before in one of my videos, I did go to culinary arts school. And um, it was supposed to be a two-year program. And the first year was supposed to be uh, cooking and everything related to cooking. And the second year was supposed to be uh, baking. But our school ran out of funding, so we were kind of kicked out without learning too much about baking. We're, we're getting started on the basics of the different kinds of wheat and wheat flour and uh, temperatures and things like that. But uh, like I said, you know, our school ran out of funding, so that was that. So um, in my years of uh, working in restaurants, I learned a little bit of baking 
but I wasn't really good at it. Um, we usually had our own bakers, and uh, bakers make good money. And uh, we had this one lady, African American lady, that she could bake like crazy. And uh, I found out how much they were paying her, and I told her, I said, "You, you can do better. You can do way better." I said, "If with your skills, your talent, I told her you could command your price." So, on one of her days off, she went to one of the uh, higher end resort, I guess, uh, restaurant hotels, and uh, she got a job there, making twice or three times the amount of money she was making, and the boss was kind of mad at me because he caught wind of it. Okay, so that's mixed. And ready to go. This is a greased pan. And just throw these in there. And I might pause the video for a little bit to let my oven heat up. And I'm going to make uh, a few biscuits here and then a small uh, chicken pot pie. And that should turn out pretty well. I should have gotten another pen. Oh, uh, okay. We'll use this for the, uh, the crust, the pie crust. When I get to that. I forgot this makes kind of a lot of dough. It'll, it'll make um, enough for, uh, I think it was nine nine biscuits and these are about three inches across and close to almost half an inch thick so pretty nice sized biscuits and let me pause the video for a minute and i'll be right back okay we got that done now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make the uh filling for the uh uh chicken pot pie or the topping for the chicken a la king and I'm using a country, country style gravy mix. I'm going to use two packets. And uh, hopefully my pan is big enough. I don't have a real deep pan like this. And I'm going to get that going. But uh, the weather here in our part of the country, it's been really nice. There was that cold snap that was really weird where uh, some parts of uh, Montana, Colorado, I think Wyoming got snow last week. <laughs> that's nuts. That's crazy. I'm not looking forward to cold weather. I'm more of a warm weather kind of bear. And... Uh, Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon. And this is pretty salty, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Let's see, I've got probably, oh, I'll say a good half tablespoon. I don't know how many, how many teaspoons that is. But uh, I'm going to let this thicken up. Then I'm going to add my other ingredients. Mm. I might have to turn this down a little bit. But with um, the weather changing and getting ready to come into fall, people are getting ready for Halloween and I've seen Christmas decorations out. And I don't know if anybody's going to be celebrating stuff like that, or you have to be out in the public and whatnot. I'm glad my kids are grown. They don't, uh, uh, well, they really never did celebrate uh, Halloween because it was too scary for them. And I didn't push it. I said, yeah, 
you know, if you're, if you don't want to celebrate, that's fine. So at the time, their mother uh, changed her tune, and she was all for it. She was the one that was putting up Halloween decorations, scary stuff, and my boys didn't like it. So um, she started uh, putting up fall decorations, like harvest time, harvest time decorations. And the kids and I were more comfortable with that. And it worked out. It worked out well in all their growing up years. Um, that's what we did. We celebrated the season and not the specific holiday. And then went for the other um, the other holiday times. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the chicken. And this is canned chicken. Chicken breast. And these are little chunks of chicken. I love this stuff. Okay, I'm not going to drain it. And put it all in there. These are cooked, fully cooked, and she mash it up a little bit. So we started celebrating the seasons instead of the holiday, and I'm more comfortable with that. You know, I was never, I wasn't raised to be like big Christmas or. Um, I, I told a story of one Christmas that was kind of ruined it for my mother and I and how uh, well, that didn't turn out well but um, I'll tell the story again there, there was uh, just a little bit too much juice I'm gonna drain that a little bit there was one Christmas season that we came uh, to visit my grandmother and um, you know we brought some some gifts with us at the time we were celebrating we brought some gifts you know we had like little packages of socks little pack of uh, handkerchiefs a uh, pack of t-shirts gloves earmuffs you know it's just simple things like that and um, Christmas morning um, they had a, a Christmas tree in their living room, and that thing was piled all, almost all the way to the ceiling with presents. And Christmas morning, you know, all the kids came out and they ran to their mm. the Christmas tree and um, started tearing open gifts. You know, they'd look at it, see if it's theirs, and started tearing open gifts. Mm. And they take a look at it and throw it aside, go to the next one, tear it open, throw it aside, and uh, really not looking who gave the gift or thanking them or anything like that. Okay, now I'm going to put in a, a can of mixed vegetables. This is drained already, and uh, these are from the local dollar store. Ooh, that looks good already. But uh, they would, you know, they, they just kept doing that, just opening the gift and throwing it aside. And my grandfather came in and said, oh, yeah, there's a, she, he called one of the older girls, one of my older aunties, and said, oh, we got a gift, your presents outside. So they all ran outside and it was a car, a car with a big ribbon on it. <laughs> you know, it was a small, like, a small car, like a Toyota or something like that. And my mother and I, we looked at each other, and we just kind of shook our heads, you know. Went to the side. Oh, when we gave them our gifts, they opened it, looked inside. Oh, a uh, pair, of, pair of socks. Oh, a pair of gloves, and just threw it aside. Not even a thank you. Not even... So that kind of ruined it for us. So from there, uh, we stopped celebrating the holidays. And uh, my kids were raised to celebrate the, uh, the seasons. And they really don't celebrate anymore anything. Um, you know, they'll acknowledge that other people like to celebrate whatever holiday or 
whatever's going on. But um, uh, this, you know, I left it up to them. But it was their choice, pretty much. Okay, I'm going to give this a taste. This looks so good already. Mm, oh my gosh. Okay, that's really good. Okay, and that's all there is to it. This is done. Mmm. And I hope you can see this on camera. Oh, yeah. Move the camera a little bit closer. Our chicken. Canned chicken. Chicken breast. Mixed vegetables. <clears throat> and uh, two packs of country gravy. And about a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. It turns out perfect. This is wonderful. Now, what I want to do is I've got... The biscuits in the oven and let me scoop this over a little bit what i want to try to do and hopefully i've got a, a ceramic bowl here is make a uh, individual size uh pot pie chicken pot pie and i've made it before with uh, a full size pan but um one of the main things I wanted to try was that uh, the dough, the biscuit dough, and see if it'll turn out to be a, uh, a crust. Okay, so I'm going to fill this up pretty good. Got the crust right here. I already rolled it out. Mmm, those biscuits smell so good. Okay, we've got that rolled out. I'm just going to pick it on there. Like I said, I'm not an expert in baker. I'm a good cook, but not a very good baker. And I don't know. I think um, I was going to say I don't know which is which is better to be a good baker or a good cook. I think of being a good cook is uh, a little better. I'm I, I'm biased, you know, because of my not a very good baker. Like I said. Okay, so I've got that. I didn't have my fork ready, but I've seen the bakers do this. Put this around the edge, and I think it's mostly decorative. I don't know if it serves a, a function, but just to make it look nice. And I'm not going to let my OCD kick in and make it perfect. And put some holes so the steam can escape. I'm going to put one fairly good size hole right there, just to be on the safe side. I don't know how much this will bubble up or not. Okay, so that will be the chicken pot pie, individual size. And these biscuits are just about ready. There we go. And I'm going to stick this in there. And hopefully that'll turn out all right okay so I've got my biscuits ready the chicken all king filling is done and let's see, let me grab a knife here whoops I'm excited this is so fun okay here's the biscuits nice and warm toasty Got the oven a little too hot, but that's fine. Now for the chicken a la king recipes, there's everybody's got their own, I'm pretty sure. But this is mine, and this is how we're I'm showing you how to make it. Easy, simple, the things that you can buy at the store, you don't have to mess with it. Dollar store, you don't have to spend a fortune for it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay. And scoop some of that onto the biscuits. I know the family will love this. Fresh made biscuits. You can't beat it. The chicken 
popping is awesome. And there we go, chicken a la king. Okay, I've got the uh, pot pie in the oven. Let me give this a little taste. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. So, if you want a detailed recipe, let me know. I'll put it on the comments. And uh, so easy to do. However long this video takes, that's how long it takes. Um, I pause the video maybe about five minutes uh, to let the biscuits brown and rise. This, you saw how long it takes. Simple, easy. This is oh, it's so good, delicious. But everybody take care, be well, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.